today. Today the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to the Kingdom of the Channel. The love for God is very practical. So yeah, y'all. I am trying to stay on the road. I am um I'm um <laughs> I'm on my way to the gym, of course. Yeah, I'm on my way to the gym, but I'm hungry, so I gotta go get some food first. I'm gonna go get me a hibachi bow with the everything I need to build strong muscles. <laughs> nah, for real though. Um, I ordered it with the purple rice and the chicken and shrimp and extra veggies. Cause I like veggies. Let's face it. So yeah. But yeah, so I just wanted to come touch bases with you guys. <laughs> Woo! Because <laughs> we, we pretty much at the pinnacle. We pretty much at the pinnacle. And you know what? Um, oh, God's about to do some thing things. God's about to do some thing things. But, um, I wanted to come and I just didn't want to leave you guys hanging from that last video. I felt like that last video was super important because um, it was insightful. It was very insightful. And um, first, let me just put this disclaimer out there. Like, I don't post my vi I post my videos. Uh, after the after I've resolved the issues that I'm going through in the video, then I'll post it because it wouldn't be a wise decision to make to post a video with my vulnerabilities while I'm going through whatever I'm going through. So I go ahead and I post my videos after God has given me an answer. After you know I filmed it and I sat on it and I know you know I still feel good about it I still feel good about posting it I go ahead and post it so you know what I'm saying the stuff I went through in that video is you know I'm not really dealing with that anymore but I wanted to come and man this might be the end this might be the end of this season I wanted to come and just touch bases with you guys because I just wanted to come touch bases with you guys because in that last video it was a good video because um, I was really transparent about the transformation process and about my emotions and what I had experienced because like I said I had, um, I know what God has in store for me. So, um, so at that time when I had made that video, I was up. Uh, yeah, I can, I can have emotion. I was upset because it was taking longer than what I wanted it to take. But when you're fully submitted to God. And this is why I think that was a good video because I really sounded immature in that video. And for a lot of us, when we get to that point, we're gonna have those feelings and um, it may be a possibility that you don't know how to work that out. So that's why I felt like that was a good video because um, Uh, a lot of people really aren't that transparent to say, you know, these are my vulnerabilities and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I just went ahead. I wanted to go ahead and do that. Um, but, yeah, so um, even though I felt like I was ready to move on, um, I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? And that's obvious in the fact that I hadn't moved on yet. No matter how, I mean, you'll get to that point where you're like, no, you know, you feel like you're ready. You, you know what I'm saying? You might have received a specific degree of healing, transformation, um, 
you know, mindset shift, whatever. And you feel like, you know, you ready. But, um, yeah, I wasn't ready. And there were some things that God had to work out. Like patience. Like peace. Like love. Um, like working on the relationship that I had with him. And letting him be number one in my life. Things like that. At that point, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about me, 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 and my feelings and my emotions. But when you're at that point where you're still talking about you and your emotions and all of this stuff, you're not really submitted to God. You're not really submitted to God because if you were really submitted to God, then your emotions wouldn't matter because you understand that God is in control and, um, you know, that he loves you, that he's a good guy and he wants the best for you and that he's not just holding you back just to be holding you back, but there's something that he needs to work out within you so that you can be successful wherever you're going to get to. And so, um, that's why I wanted to follow up with this video because those are the things that I had to learn to move past that. Um, in addition to that, there, you know, there were things specific to the calling on my life that I had to learn about, too. So, um, so yeah, I, you know, it just was not time at, at that time. It just wasn't time, no matter how bad I felt like it was. And the fact that I was, you know, upset and throwing that little temper tantrum or adult temper tantrum or whatever you want to call it was like really proof that, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't ready. But um, when you get to a place of calmness, peace, patience, and you're waiting, that shows God that you're ready. When you're working, and serving um while you're waiting you know what i'm saying it's an attitude thing too you're not just like waking up every day sad and mad at the world and oh another day and all the you know what i'm saying you're not doing all of that you're resting and in, in your faith you know it's going to happen but you just got to be patient but you just gotta be patient and there ain't nothing wrong with that like you gotta learn to be patient so yeah that was my follow up um I, it was a quick follow up but um yeah I can go into depth you know if anybody needs that information um, leave me a comment and I'll make another video about it. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah. I think it just took for me to get to a place where I was truly, genuinely, fully submitted. And if you're fully submitted, then how can you be mad that things aren't going according to your timeline? You know what I'm saying? God is a good guy. He loves you. Uh, and he wants the best for you. Um, and the things he's working on with me, um, I'm glad that uh, I was delayed. I'm glad that I was delayed because, um, I mean, yeah, I'm glad that I was delayed. Every day of delay was a day of exponential growth spiritually. So I uh, am grateful for the delay. Um, I understand uh, maybe it's a bit more difficult when you don't understand but that's why I made this video so hopefully it helps somebody I'm about to go get my food because um, I didn't eat enough yet and then I'm going to, a, to the gym I'm trying to y'all I, I, I gotta, I gotta uh, find a way to eat some more because I'm just getting skinnier I'm about to, I'm, I, was, I was trying to, um, you can't see with this shirt on, but yeah, I mean, I got muscle, but I wasn't trying to get skinnier. 
<laughs> I guess it don't matter though. I guess it don't matter because when I was my healthiest, I was my skinniest. So that might just be my frame to be honest. Um, whatever, but um, in the effort to not get any skinnier, I'm about to go eat, so yeah. Cause I am going to the gym and uh, I am gonna make it do what it do with them weights, so. All right, y'all. Until next time. Bye-bye. Hey, y'all. I got my food. <laughs> Let y'all know I got my food. And I don't even drive on. Because I'm eating. Even though they only put five shrimps on my bowl, I still mess with it. I could have made more shrimp than that. If they were going to do that, I could have put some shrimp in the Ziploc. They play too much. Matter of fact, that's what I'm gonna do. When I get home, I'm gonna just put some shrimp on top of this bad boy. I'll be smacking. Y'all, I grew up rough, so. Um, there wasn't nobody really there to teach me table manners, so I do be smacking. When I'm by myself, which I am technically by myself, but when I go out to eat, I don't be doing that. on this bowl. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. Mm -hmm. I wonder when I get a man if I'm having to stop eating like this. I already answered in my head, but the answer wasn't like uh, G rated, so I ain't gonna share. <laughs> All right, that's enough. See, that's not gonna be. I just don't eat a lot at one time. Like I eat, I prefer to like eat all day. Here, there, everywhere, but. When my stomach's full, I don't be wanting to keep eating. And my stomach ain't that big. Alright y'all. You already know 
what time it is. We work out the clock. <laughs> yeah, I had my little thing pre-made. I don't want to too much water in my finger, but honestly, I'ma just um I'm a, I take two bottles of water in the gym with me. And speaking of two bottles of water in the gym, I need to go get me like a drink cup. Because carrying around two as a matter of fact, we can Walmart. I might go to Walmart. I might as well go to Walmart. I'm gonna go to Walmart and get a cup. Like a cup with a straw or something. Like a sippy cup. Cause even when I be at home, I drink my um it's hot. I drink my um out of bottle water and with a straw, so mm. I wanna cut with a straw. And I still feel like I could I should have ate more, but my stomach don't be wanting it. That's uh, but I'm like 170 something. I'm not losing weight. I guess I'm losing fat and building muscle, which is the point. But you know, I just thought I was gonna be a little bit bulkier or whatever. My hair is still wet. Alright y'all, 